Black people only keep two cents out of $1.3 trillion every year passing through their fingers. All the other money goes to the white communities, to the Asian communities. 96% of it go out within a, within a matter of hours. You can't, there's no way you're gonna survive. So this big economy that's, uh, that's getting ready to collapse in this country, we're gonna catch hell because we're already on the bottom. We've been on the bottom in 2014. You just went through a pandemic. You're getting ready now to go through a major recession. What are you gonna live off of? You don't produce a damn thing except sweat. And all the rich blacks in the country, they ain't gonna put, ain't gonna put the money to you, but they're, they're hoping now that they'll be the last ones that get pulled in because they know whites will come with it, come after them sooner or later, but they think they'll be the last ones. They're gonna get the poor blacks first. That might be true, it might not be true. But right now, right now we cannot make it. I'm telling you that. There's no way that you can compete with any group. I just showed you the groups and all of them are way over you, way over you. And, they, and they, they're replacing you in everything, in jobs. You and come right in your neighborhoods and set up businesses. Your neighborhoods are wide open. You don't have not one community. I still got all these would be black Leaders in the country always talking about our communities. Quit using the word community. They don't have no damn communities. Blacks haven't got one damn community in the entire United States. A community is where you store your values, your culture, your history, your language, your wealth, your power, your heritage, and your income, and your opportunities and jobs for businesses. They have nothing. They're totally deprived, and they're happy always dancing and singing, dancing and singing. I said, Lord, give me a break.